Hi and welcome back. Yesterday I did a test drawing with these, the Faber-Castell Classic Color Pencils. And um, I was quite pleased with those and I was starting that video out with speculating what was the difference between the Classic Colors and the Eco uh, Pencils from Faber-Castell. They're both the red line so it's kind of the, their kit or hobby line. Um, and it seems that there there's not all that much difference and that maybe they, they're t starting to use just the classical pencils. But you can still get something called the Eco pencils, the color Eco pencils. So I'm going to do a test drawing of these with these uh, today. I'm going to put a card up uh, at the top for uh, with a link to, to this video. Um, if you want to see that, so so here um, I'm gonna gonna do a test drawing today. I, I haven't sketched up yet, so that is gonna be a part of it today. So uh, I'm gonna speed things up from here.
So I cleaned up and I trimmed the ugly edge of this drawing. At a distance it looks okay. This is the drawing I did with the classics yesterday. And I think I told you guys yesterday that I did this on Claire Fontaine paint on or crayon. I didn't. That is actually Montval uh, watercolor paper from Canson. But the texture uh, difference between the two kinds of paper is very little. So it doesn't really matter to the result. This one was a lot more fun to do than this one. And I even had as many colors I almost needed for this one. I'll zoom in for you guys and show you the huge difference. Okay, so that's as long far in as. Now, I didn't finish this one anywhere as much as I did this because it's really difficult to get the colors here to blend in together. Um, come, focus. There. It, uh, the pencil is a lot harder and not as pigmented as the classics. It was, I had to layer a lot of things to, to get things dark and mix colors to get the black black. Uh, whereas on this one I I overdid the black. Let me see that covers the paper much better this this stuff here. Try some more light. Um, that black from the classics that was just almost too dark. Had to be a little careful with that. And here I could get the colors to blend together much easier without breaking my wrist trying to burnish it together. Um, so uh, it's maybe a little unfair to put them side by side because I could probably keep on layering and layering and, and get it to cover as well as that, but it uh, it was kind of yeah, it was it was harder and not as much fun, so I stopped. At a distance, they look okay, so that was sorry for <laughs> reflection. Uh, this is the classics, and over here is the eco eco pencils and. If I'm gonna buy more of the red line coloring pencils from Faber Castell, I'm going with the the classics most definitely. Those were, yeah, they felt almost like professional artist grade pencils to work with. This was annoying and and difficult, much more than it has to be. And I mean the price is the same pretty much. So, um, definitely classics for me. Also, oh no, I stuffed them back in there. In here, but I think I can get them. I had, had problems with breakage with these. I've had that before as well. Um, have a look in here. I am. Um, two seconds. Breakage. Um, this one was curved. You can't see that anymore. And I didn't use that for this drawing at all. I've given up on it. And I tried to sharpen it from the other end and stuff. The, the core in this one was splintered because it was curved. And this one splintered one time where I was sharpening it. And I had. Was it a brown that I kept sharpening for this one and it kept on, it breaks all the way down in the wood. So when you start using it, it, it starts to wiggle. It does happen to this one too, like that. That's not a sharpening problem. That is a core problem. That is a scattered core. So I had much more of that kind of problems with these than I had with, with that set. And I sharpened those a lot because they were kind of soft. 
So, um, yeah, classics are the ones I like the best. So that was my conclusion of, of this test. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that. I got more drawings coming up. I um, I got a couple of more budget friendly pencils to to review, and then I'll go and do something with art grade pencils. So, see you all!